It is true, over the recent years, there was a lot of talk about banks partnering up with fintech and fintechs upgrading the digital systems that they have. And we haven't seen many successes. I would say we haven't seen any successes at real scale. But I think it's still early days. And from my experience, it just takes a lot longer than we all expected. So I think more to come on that front. But an emerging trend that we are seeing is even more exciting. And maybe that's a consequence of banks being really slow in working with fintechs. And that is about fintechs teaming up with other fintechs and putting these incredibly two innovators in product together <laughs> means that the bundle of those two is incredibly explosive and really is the best that you can see in financial markets. And so I'm really excited that at iWalker we are at the forefront of this trend. We have teamed up with Tide to provide a product to small businesses that does not exist in that format in the market. And we're going to present you this today for the very first time. But before I do that, I really want to give you the experience firsthand that a small business owner goes through when they are applying for a bank loan from a high street bank. Because we're always speaking about how hard it is, but in reality, pretty, one, pretty much no one here in the room has ever actually gone through that process. So I think. To be able to show you how innovative we are, it's quite good to see how things are actually working in the real world today. Why should we care about this? Small businesses are crit critical to our economy. They represent one in three private sector jobs. They represent 20% of our economic output. They are a really important driver of our future growth. We should be giving them all the capital they need to prosper and grow. But quite the opposite is true, and that is not news. Ever since the financial crisis, lending to small businesses with less than one million in turnover has contracted quarter after quarter after quarter, and that despite all of the quantitative easing, easing that we have seen in the market. So clearly, there is a structural problem here. And one, of, one part of that problem is that it's just tremendously difficult to apply for a bank loan. At Awoka, we're speaking to small businesses every day, and they share their frustration and experiences when going through this process with their bank. But the same for us. To really understand how it works, we had to see for ourselves. And so we joined Tola, who's running his own small business, turning over well below 100,000 pounds per year. He's selling fruit juices, coconut juices to be precise, here in the, in the UK. And Tola went to see the banks if they would give him a bank loan. As one would do, you would start your search on the internet, looking through the different websites of the different banks. And he was most attracted by HSBC's website. A, because it's really clear and glossy, but also they have a 10 billion pound fund for SMEs. They also have an 85% approval rate. And so he felt that was a good place to go. When he clicked on the apply button to give it a go, he was directed to this page. And as you can see, if you are an existing HSBC, customer, then you can call this number and apply for a loan over the phone. If you're using internet banking, you can log onto your account and you can apply from within this account in a digital way. But if you are a new customer to HSBC, then you can approach them in branch to discuss your options to switch to HSBC. That wasn't quite what Tula was looking for. He wasn't looking to switch his entire bank relationship. He just wanted to have a small business loan and apply for it. And so, intrigued by this, he still decided to go to town, visit a HSBC branch to see what they would be telling them there. And so I'd like to invite all of you 
to join him on that journey. Uh, Hammersmith is available on is October, the, Monday the 16th. I don't think they have any because I'm hitting like November the 5th. <laughs> So I don't need a business account to get a loan. Oh, you're not sure. Okay. So there's no one. Um, no one. No one. Available. Able to speak to someone now? No. Exactly. So the only okay. way is to book in through business support team. Business support is in. I think it's Newcastle. I would like to apply for a business loan, please. I'm sorry. I would like to apply for a business loan. I would like you just to give you the indirect number so that you can call me. No, I would like you to put me through, please. Sure, sure, bye. I'm trying to call a direct manager, but there is not available. Good. Straightforward. Are they not able to give me a call? Um, we will not be able to do that one. Wow. I guess none of us would have expected that it goes quite that way. Now we understand what small business mean when they are frustrated about the service they're getting from their banks when simply acquiring for a loan, let alone actually applying for it. So that was a good days of work for Tola. And at the end of that day, he didn't get really much closer. As you have seen, he was advised that the next meeting to hear about his options and discuss his um, relationship, new relationship with that bank, would be about three to five weeks away from when he went into the branch. So, you know, another bank is really interesting here in the UK. About three years ago, in June, I believe, 2014, they announced to invest one billion pounds in technology to prepare for the digital age, to reform the retail business of which small businesses of that size are part of. So we are quite intrigued. What do you think one billion pound in tech investment is going to buy you? an Excel spreadsheet. Because when Tola called the, the hotline, the call center for small business lending, he had a quite informative um, discussion with them. And straight after the call, he received an email with four documents. Two of those documents were forms, fairly lengthy forms, that you need to fill in to provide information about both your personal as well as business asset and liabilities. But then there were also two more um, attachments. And those two attachments were Excel spreadsheets. One of those you can see here. So Tola is required to put the next three years of future cash flow forecast into the spreadsheet. And also on another spreadsheet, which is not quite looking like this, has slightly different, different colors but also put all of his um, past financials. That's a lot of work. It's a lot of work to even put the numbers in from your sort of management accounts that you probably have with your accountant, and then also make sure they're reconciled because you're applying for a bank loan, so you make, want to make sure that you get it right. And this is not what we understand under digital banking. This is not what FinTech is about. And we were quite surprised that even though the processes were much, much better than what we've seen from some of the other providers, we thought that the process would have been a lot more digital than sending emails back and forth with attachments. So, Tola experienced it firsthand, and the best estimate that we could get, that in a good case scenario, it takes about two weeks from start to finish to getting the money into your bank account. 
That is, in my view, a best case scenario, and I think it only applies to very few, because it would mean that the entire process needs to be entirely flawless, and as you have seen in the video, in some cases you might wait three to five weeks to actually get to a conversation which then might lead to an application. So much more likely is that the process will take six to eight weeks, and that is a long period for any business, but in particular for a very small business. And while you're putting in all of this work, there's also absolutely no certainty at the end of the road that you will be receiving a business loan. Over the last few years, we have relentlessly worked in taking barriers away, on breaking them down, and removing all of the processes that are unnecessary, the admin that businesses do not have to do to enable us to provide funding within less than 10 minutes from the very first time a business comes to our website. In comparison, that looks like magic, but it's not. It's just a very clever use of technology, the ability to take some information in a digital application process, process all of this information in real time behind the scenes, to assess credit instantaneously, and then also to fulfill the transaction with the same seamlessness as we gather information and assess the risk. Some critics say that our speed has to come at the expense of risk. And that is simply not true. We have also built a very sophisticated risk engine, which enables us not only to differentiate the very low risk customers from high risk customers, but all of the different shades in between. And that enables us to fairly decide whether a customer should get credit and at what price. And that in turn enables us to lend to many more small businesses than banks do. A lot of our customers have been discouraged by the process or even rejected by the bank. So take those two to together, this incredibly seamless process and good customer experience and this granular understanding of risk, and that enable us, enable us to fund 15,000 small businesses to date. 15,000 is a proud number, but it's still at the very, very, very beginning of our own journey. In Europe, there are 20 million small businesses alone. We are only scratching the surface in the markets that we're operating in which are in dark blue here. One of the big problems that we are encountering is that nine out of 10 small businesses go to their house bank, might get dis discouraged or rejected, and are not looking for options anywhere else. They simply do not end up with any financing. And that's why early on, we felt that if we wanted to lend to the many and not the few, that we would be much more successful in cooperating with banks and other partners to help them provide the same experience to their customers that we provide to our customers today. And with that in mind, I'm incredibly excited to have George with me today. George is the CEO and founder of Tide, and he will tell you a little bit more about what Tide does in the small business world and how our product will help them access financing in an easier way. Great, thanks very much, Christoph. Hey, everyone. Great to see you. Um, quick hands up, who's heard of Tide? Who's heard of Tide? Great, I'm pleased. What about mainly me? I was at a, a, a bankers conference about a month ago, and it was a bankers conference full of bankers who work specifically in the sector that we look to address, addressing small businesses banking, and I asked them to put their hands up and genuinely only about 10% of them did. And all I could infer from that was that they were so bored of the conference they'd been at that they, they completely stopped listening. So I'm relieved you at least have the faintest idea what we do. But what you think we do is not quite the same as how we think about what we do. So you probably think that uh, Tide is just a next generation banking service. Well, not necessarily just, it's quite a big deal to be a next generation banking service. But actually that's not all that Tide is about. What Tide is really about is doing what you love. We think the world would be a better place if more people did what they love. And we're building 
a banking service for people who do do what they love that gives them time back so they can get back to doing more of it. That's what Tide's really about. And I'd like to illustrate that by telling the story of Tem, who you see here, Tem Alessi. So Tem is originally from Ethiopia. He now runs a great business in Britain. In Ethiopia, growing up, Tem's community used to meet together daily, and they would roast coffee for an hour, and then they distributed it round in a bit of a ceremony, and it was a great way that they brought that community together. Now, Tem, many years later, moved to the UK, and he was working uh, in a bar in the UK, and he noticed that uh, much as there's lots of great coffee to drink as regular coffee in the UK, uh, a lot of the spirits and liqueurs that he was uh, selling were very, very sugary, and uh, anything coffee-based wasn't necessarily very nice, and he thought he could make something much, much better. So he invented a fantastic business called Cold and Black uh, Coffee Liqueurs, and they make sugar-free coffee liqueurs. They're absolutely delicious. And, uh, and now Thames business is, is very successful. They take a lot more than one hour to make this, this coffee drink, so uh, the infusing and the blending and the, uh, all the rest of the stuff that goes on takes a, a couple of weeks, obviously made with the best Ethiopian coffee. But once it's done, this incredible drink is growing like wildfire. It's sold in Nod on the High Street, sold in Abel and Cole, it's sold in various retail stores across London, it's sold uh, now in Germany, and the next country Tem plans to uh, sell to is in Australia. And he is super, super busy doing what he loves. And of course, that means that he doesn't have a whole load of time to think about banking. So that's where Tide steps in. We've created a banking service which makes it much easier for him to get back to what he loves. So signing up for a, a bank's current account for business typically takes weeks and weeks. Well, in Tide, you can do it on your mobile. You can do it in five minutes. It's done. It's an incredible experience. You get a sort code and an account number and a MasterCard, just like you'd expect from a traditional bank. It does direct debits and all the other sort of dull stuff that you'd expect. But it also does a lot of interesting things as well. Um, as you know, the bane of small business owners is bookkeeping and accounting. Well, Tide automates all of that for you. It automatically categorizes all of your transactions and syncs really nicely with uh, your accounting software. We're just launching the world's most sophisticated integration with Xero at the moment. But also, uh, we do some very useful uh, services relating to invoicing. So not only can you send out an invoice from Tide, but also if you've been sent an invoice by a company that you need to pay, you can upload that invoice into Tide, and Tide will read it and work out who you're supposed to be paying and how much you're supposed to pay them. It'll prepare that invoice for you, and you can pay it just with a couple of taps of a button. Uh, to illustrate that, in the taxi on the way here today, I managed to fire off uh, to pay 15 different invoices just on my way here today. Um, so that's a load of services that we've already built into Tide, and of course, there's a whole load more that are, are coming in the future. The thing we don't have yet, or we haven't had up until today, is an amazing credit proposition. And we know it's important. We hear it all the time from our members. Tim himself has told me that when he came to the UK as an entrepreneur, he didn't have access to the sorts of networks that would give him uh, easy investment um, because he was new. He was new to the country. And so raising finance for his business was tough. And of course, we've just seen from Christoph how incredibly laborious it can be to get finance for your business uh, if you go through the big banks. So we were delighted to work with iWalker. This is the experience we've built. We wanted to give our members access to competitively priced, flexible credit without them ever having to leave the app. And we wanted to give it to them within minutes. When Tide approached us, we saw a great opportunity in going even further to remove the obstacles that businesses face when they need finance. Integrating with Tide was an opportunity to showcase how iWalker's open platform would allow partners to provide credit to their customers in a seamless way. Once a business is using Tide, getting approved with iWalker takes seconds. Here's a jewellery designer who's looking for funding to buy some new equipment. They log into their account and fill in a few simple fields. We're making use of all the data Tide has already collected, including the ID scan and selfie, so they don't need to fill in a cumbersome form or upload documents. 
In the background, we're running dozens of checks and passing it through a sophisticated scorecard. This process would literally take weeks of manual review with a bank. With iWaka, it's seconds. And that's it. The business is now approved for a £10,000 credit line. This is an actual real decision, not just a quotation or a pre-approval or an approval in principle. As soon as the business is ready, they can go ahead and draw down the funds. They can either draw down the full amount or take it in stages. For instance, our jewellery designer might be looking to borrow £4,000 to buy a new piece of equipment. The first time they take funding, we'll ask a few simple security questions to make sure it's them. Then they'll electronically sign the terms that will apply to all their future transactions. Note that these documents have been produced by iWalker and sent through the API. Finally, they'll review all the terms and click confirm. We'll send the funds instantly. We've worked with Tide to ensure they won't even need to wait for a bank transfer to go through, and repayments will be taken automatically from their Tide account. Together with iWalker, we've got the fastest way for small businesses to get access to finance. We can't wait to get it in the hands of our members to see what they're making. So how about that? How about that? In comparison with what you saw before from the big banks, that's the fastest mechanism to access business finance that I'm aware of actually anywhere in the world. So we're really proud of that. And we couldn't have done it without working with a company like iWaka. We obviously uh, examined the various organizations that one might wish to work on credit with. And the thing we learned in the process is that you have to work with a tech business and they have to really get it. They have to get how to uh, produce the best APIs to bring together uh, the fastest, most seamless uh, customer experience. And you've just seen it. It's pretty incredible and we're really proud of, of what we've achieved together so far. <coughs> and how big can it be? Well, let me tell you about how Tide is doing first. Tide on our own before we launch credit. At the moment, we are 7% of all new business current accounts in the UK. To give some context to that, we launched at the end of January, so that's not a trivial achievement. And needless to say, that chart keeps going up. So we hope for a double-digit share of small business current accounts in the UK before too long. And we're here to build an enormous global business, because we think this seamless experience for managing all of the, all the dull stuff in your business that you hate doing, that experience ought to be shared with as many businesses around the world as we can. So in the future, in the next year, in fact, we're going to go into a whole load more countries. And I don't think it's crazy talk at all to talk about looking to bring this incredible experience for core banking and indeed for credit to so many people that we really are originating 10% or more of all business lending in the countries that we serve. That's the path that we're on. And we're really thrilled to be working with iWalker to deliver that. Christoph. Thank you. Thank you so much, George. So all what you have seen is based on the iWalker Lending API. Over the last 18 months, we have rebuilt our entire infrastructure to make it available to any third party that would like to offer credit to their customers in exactly the same way that we do today and how we will continue to develop in the future. And all of the documentation around this API is publicly available. We're not like a bank that is trying to protect all of the information they have. You can look it up. You can look through the documentation yourself and see whether our iWalker Lending API might be right for your business. So who is this for? Trade platforms like Alibaba or Plentific. They are catering to hundreds of thousands of small businesses. They can now offer seamless credit as part of their checkout to increase their conversions and revenues. Brokers. Brokers are receiving a lot of interest from small businesses. With us, they can now provide instant offers to them. Again, increasing conversions for them, but also reducing the operating costs that they currently have when performing a very, very manual process for thousands of leads. And of course, banks. We are very keen to work with banks. We're very keen to have them offer the same experience to their customers that we offer ours today. So banks, too, 
can use our iWalker Lending API to offer our product to them. While we are officially launching the iWalker Lending API today, we have had a number of companies testing it over the last few months. We have a lot more interest from companies that we have already reached out to. But if there's anyone here in the room who would like to learn more, we'd be excited to speak to you. So finally, think of Tola when you think of small business lending today in the real world. He was most certainly put off by the process that he has been put through. And now think of Tola signing up too tight and getting a credit facility within minutes of signing up in a completely seamless way. That, ladies and gentlemen, is what digital banking is about. Thank you very much.